What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty mobile video. Now in today's video guys, I'll be talking about a potential lawsuit against Activision and Timmy Studios. Now, a major shout out to Murder Blast on Twitter. So if you guys wanna follow him, the link will be in the description of the video. He was the one that actually helped me find this user. And this user is actually a gaming lawyer and pretty much when this person stated everything, there was a lot of like, I think over 120 comments on Reddit just talking about this whole situation and it's something I wanted to talk about while other YouTubers create videos very similar talking about the the lucky draw scam and everything else I wanted to wait a little bit until the timing was right rather than rushing in because with this evidence this gaming lawyer slash attorney it makes a lot more sense so I didn't want to rush a video talking about the scam even though I fell for the I wouldn't say it was a scam fully but because that's a debate, but I did fall for it as well. And I did drop a lot of money for the skeleton suit or the Outrider suit. So basically um, a user, I'm gonna read this by the way, and everything will be in the description, the link to this as well, so you guys can read it. And potentially a link to also the article, which I'll talk about later in the video. But I'm gonna read what this attorney stated in this post. Now it's really, really interesting. So and again, if you guys wanna check one of the links, you guys can read it for yourself. But his name is you under, user underscore or not underscore slash zero some game. So that is the user. He says, hi, God, folks. I'm going to turn in a former game developer. Today, I have a lot of practice focusing mostly on litigating business disputes related to technology. That is, I sue companies and defend lawsuits that involve software. I came across the lucky draw issue by watching an angry Joe video and reading some stories. And I'm blown away by what I've seen here. On its face, I think the practice is clearly deceptive and unfair. They label the skeleton skin and the gun as purple items. They make no distinction between the two items and other two purple items in the spin. It's clearly meant to deceive people into thinking these items have the same odds. My inquiry to you folks is how many people are affected by this, which I was obviously affected by it. Are people getting ripped off all over the country? I have to look at video games uh, video game controversies with an eye towards finding a good cause to put together a class action lawsuit. And I think this one has legs. I can tell you that in terms of views, do have a class action waiver in them. It's probably unforeseeable. Uh, Nevertheless, I'm interested in seeing what's going on here. And then pretty much wrapping it up, he states that the real way to go about affecting change here is to compile these issues and bring them to the state attorney general while we may have waived our class action rights, the attorney general can bring claims. I'm willing to write a complaint to my state attorney general on behalf of an Oregon consumer, and I will distribute this complaint for others to use. Wow. So that was a lot of language he stated, and I know, uh, you know, me reading this is probably pretty boring, but if you guys read the article yourself, that should alone kind of be like, whoa. And there's been a lot, I mean, he stated some really, really good points because Let's talk about the lucky draw. So the lucky draw is over, but basically it was part of the Halloween update. And I have actually a picture that in the next page, basically there was the MSMC Halloween skin, the uh, purple XP card, I believe the M4 Halloween skin, the ATV uh, skin as well, the AK-47 skin, uh, shotgun skin, backpack skin. Uh, there was also, I believe a crate and then the knife skin and then the, the skeleton on rider. So when when I was opening that type of lucky draw, it stated that you had a 42% chance of getting an epic. And I'm just like, it seemed very unreal that you actually have a higher percent chance of getting like the Outrider skin. But as it turned out, every time you opened up a lucky, you know, a lucky draw, excuse me, the re like so you got one reward. Most likely it was going to be probably a blue. That's what usually I got, and most people had the same type of rotation. And every time you do a draw, it increased, it quadrupled. I mean, it was so expensive. Like towards the end, it was like, I think it's 6,000 to 10,000 for an opening. That is insane. And I finally, I was literally about to quit between, I spent a lot of money and there was only the Outrider skin and the AK skin. And it was so much money that I was like, I was really debating if I should even drop more money on this lucky draw. And I did, and I did get the Outrider skin, but nevertheless, I did spend almost $200, guys. So that is quite a bit of money on the gun skin, but you guys obviously enjoyed those videos where I unlocked the gun skin, not the gun skin, excuse me, the Outrider skin, 
and I also did a suit squad challenge with it. So you guys really did like the video. Same thing with Captain Price. Captain Price was a 1% chance of getting and they actually kind of removed the percentage instead of clicking the, well, you can still click, uh, click the question mark on the lucky draw or not a lucky draw, but just anything else. Instead of showing percentage right away, you have to go down to like um, a couple clicks and then you'll finally be able to see everything. So I it kind of stinks that they kind of removed it, you know, from an easier way to look at it. So um, the lucky draw was by many people was a scam. I've heard left and right on Discord and Twitter, a couple different sources. I mean, everybody or most people, I should say, thought it was a scam. Now, some players did get the skeleton suit like on the second, third or even the fourth try, which is actually pretty lucky. But for the 95 to 98 percent of people, more like 98 to 99 percent of people, it was probably one of the last two draws. Like for me, it was either the skeleton suit or the AK skin. And most people that spend that much money also probably was one of those two choices that came across. So um, obviously it's very, very expensive. Now he also, this lawyer also uh, made a letter to the attorney, to the Oregon Attorney General, um, and it says Consumer Protection Division complaint filed online only. I will not read this article. It's a, it's a little confusing and I'm also, it's a pretty lengthy article, but I will have the link in the description. So if you guys wanna go ahead and read what he filed, it's really, really interesting. Basically states how kids played this game. It's not just adults and it is a type of gambling in this game now Obviously, I know this game even though it's technically rated M just like any console game um, Kids still play this game. I mean, you know gambling's only for adults. Obviously it has to be a legal age to gamble but in this game it is kind of gambling just because you're doing a lucky draw, you know, you're you're defying the odds you're you know spending money trying to get something in a return so it, in a way it's a type of gamble so basically when he uh when this user pretty much filed uh, a complaint it's to the attorney i mean it just states that uh you know there's a i believe an um an article stated that i think it's called gambling in oregon's defined as ors 167.117 so basically just a lot of articles you know talking about how this gambling and what needs to be changed now also what's really interesting about this article is he stated that if nothing is done to games like call of duty you know if nobody speaks to activision speaks out against activision or timmy studios which is also part of this uh part of the game that's developed or call of duty mobile was developed by timmy studios and activision they both work together so it's both you know companies so i don't know who's to i think I'm not trying to blame one company or another, but I mean, one of these companies has to take responsibility or maybe both of them about this issue because a lot of people were very, very upset. There was a lot of backlash, obviously in this community. And I think something needs to be done, not just for Call of Duty mobile games, but for other console games and other games as well that gambling and Call of Duty mobile, I mean, that's just, I mean, you know, not every single, kids play this game it's not like just adults play this game which really frustrates me because i'm sure you know some younger people um you know saved up all the money they could and they dropped it and they didn't get anything which i really feel bad for those people that dropped a lot of money and just couldn't afford to you know get the outrider skin or the ak because it does get very expensive so you know hopefully something gets done hopefully you know um, I think in the future, Activision or Timmy Studios will acknowledge the lucky draw or at least talk about it just because this is, I mean, I di again, I didn't want to make a video before talking about this because, you know, I just wanted to wait to see what the backlash of the community was doing. Some other YouTubers were making videos about it. I didn't want to force it, but this letter that this attorney wrote is really, really interesting and it does get in depth. So there's a lot of comments on Reddit as well. So if you guys want to check this article again, the links will be in the description of the video. Um, in the comment section below, you guys can tell me if you think the lucky draw was a scam. I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you guys will say, yes, it is. Some of you will say, well, like Mr. Clasher, I got it on my second try, so it's not really a scam. For those people that got it on like the second or third try, that is pure luck. Like that is just pure luck. That's like one in a million type of luck. Like that is just insane. So most of us, 99% of people did not get in the second or third or fourth try. I'll just leave it at that. So again, comment section below. Tell me what you guys think about this whole issue. I know the lucky draw is over, 
but you just never know what could happen. I mean, the Captain Price was a very, very expensive suit. Not as expensive as the Outrider, but still pretty pricey, and you never know what's gonna happen in the future of Call of Duty Mobile. Maybe there might be another draw or another lucky draw, something like that, that people have to open, or, you know, it's gonna quadruple the, you know, every opening you do. So it gets very, very expensive for those type of draws. So in my opinion, it really wasn't lucky just because you have to spend so much money for a suit that it was very deceptive because it said 42% chance of getting. Well, technically it wasn't 42% chance. It was more like 1% chance of getting or 2% chance of getting if that. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, please leave a like. That would really mean a ton. And also, if you are brand new to the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button for daily content. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.